You're watching The Adrian Bauer Project. Hello, 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 hello. Many, many thanks for choosing to click my thumbnail and to watch my content. Very much appreciated as always. So, it's just uh, a little update uh, as I'm going through uh, the Lord of the Rings, the card game. I uh, hope you're enjoying the uh, series of videos that I've started doing with this. So, like I said, I'm no expert on this game. I'm learning as I go along um, and I hope you all uh, are doing too. Uh, if you've not got this game, I hope it's what you whistle to out and buy it because it is a great game. And like I say, if you are uh, an old hand at this game, please, please do watch my videos and you may be able to tell me uh, where I make an error or I go wrong or give me a hint and tip how to get out of certain sticky, uh, sticky situations. I think the first one is get your teeth in. Uh, so I watched back the uh, setting up the game video and I did notice that I made a couple of errors. How dare you! Now, the first one was uh, when you deal out your, fir your, your first hand of six cards uh, when you're setting up, you don't have to stick with those six that you have. You do have the choice to put those uh, back into the deck and draw the next six cards off the top of the deck and have those as your starting hand. But you can't change those. If you change your mind with the first six, you've got to stick with the second uh, six cards that you draw out. And of course, you put the others back in, shuffle the deck, and off you go. Uh, another little error that I made as well was dealing with these little things. I think I kept calling them encounter tokens, and they're not. These are resource tokens. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, just clear up any uh, any little confusion there. Uh, I think one little little minor gaffe as well. I think I called uh, uh, Gimli. Was it? I think I called him an orc. He's not as a dwarf. That was just a little slip of the tongue there. So. Where I got so far, uh, I've gone out and I bought the final three uh, expansion packs for the Mertwood cycle. So I've now got all six uh, adventure packs that go with the core set that you get. So I'm looking forward to looking through those. Uh, what I've been doing, uh, I've been playing uh, games as well. Um, while I've been uh, not recording videos, I've been playing this game. Uh, what I have found is when I'm playing the game in the easy mode, is what, which is what uh, I'm setting the game up as, as for beginners, uh, I do seem to win all the time. I've been using the le uh, pre-made leadership deck. And, you know, yeah, it, there's been a couple of times it's been close, but uh, I have won on them all. So I thought, you know, I'd have a go at the game in standard mode. So standard mode that means putting back in the cards that uh, we, we took out for the easy mode that'll be the cards with a little circle around uh, the icon uh, plus uh, at the start of the game um, you haven't got any uh, resource tokens there at, at the start of the game whereas on the easy mode you put one on each hero before you start so at the beginning of the game instead of having six resource tokens you're only going to have three and as I've played it, I've gone along and I played with the leadership deck, pre-made deck, and I got my arse handed to me on the plate. So I thought, is it the deck? So I gave it another go, a couple of goes, uh, at standard mode. This time I used the pre-made tactics decks, uh, deck. And again, I got my arse handed to me on a plate. Um, I didn't even um you know finish the first card you know one the 1a 1b card i didn't even <laughs> beat that 
Um, now, before I sit my neck out and say, you know, this you're not going to win with these pre-made decks, I am going to go and have, go away and have a go with the Law and the Spirit decks just to see uh, if I get any better results with those two pre-made decks on this first game. Uh, but it seems to me that if you're going to be playing this game in the easy mode, then the pre-made decks are great, they're fantastic. But if you're going to start and play the game in the standard mode, then I think you might going to struggle just a little bit. And this is when we need to start looking at deck building. But uh, like I say, that's for a ways, ways off yet. So uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a few more games, like I say, in easy mode using the uh, law and the spirit decks. Uh, I know there's, uh, especially in, I think it's the spirit deck, um, there seem to be more powerful cards when it comes to willpower on there than in the other two sets. So that could be uh, the way to go. But I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. I absolutely love this game. I think it's fantastic and it's probably become my favorite game. Uh, so there we go. I thought I'd just bring you up to up to speed up to where I am. Uh, the next video, which I'll be taking you through the first one or two phases of a round, because I'm not going to do in and around is seven phases. I think we're too much to do all in one video, and it should be too much for you to take in, uh, because. Uh, one of the, the other things I've found with this game as well, you really, really have to concentrate. So if you're thinking you're going to play this game in solo mode and you're going to whack on some music in the background, forget it because you're going to have to concentrate. Because as I was finding, um, I was playing cards and on on the cards, as I'll show you when we start, to, I'll start showing you all the faces. Uh, there are little actions and responses and things you have to remember and if you've got an attachment on a hero sometimes uh, the response on the attachment doesn't happen until say you've killed a, an enemy or you're refreshing on a round or something and I find myself sort of forgetting to do it, forgetting to read the card. So there's been a couple of times where um, when I was playing the standard mode and we had uh, one of the uh, orcs, I can't remember what its name, it was a sort of like a Beastmaster Orc something, don't quote me on the name, but it was something along those lines. And for every time it attacked, after it finished the attack, he had to put two resource tokens on to make it so its attack uh, improved two plus for every resource token it had on, which made it that bit harder to beat. And I kept forgetting to put it on. Didn't really matter in the end because I still got my arse warped in that, in that. So, but these are the little things you've got to remember. You really, really do have to concentrate and you have to try and remember, you know, all, all the little texts and uh, actions and responses and keywords on it as well. So there is a lot to take in. So again, well, I come to do my next video, which is um, showing you the first three phases of your round. I'm going to be going into that more. I know if you've never played this game before, it's gone over your head. You're not going to know what I'm talking about. But uh, like I say, we're all learning as we go along. But as I said before, I absolutely love this game. I think it's fantastic. Um, so what more can I say? So uh, I'll see you all again on the next uh, video in this series uh, where we're going through, I think, uh, the resource and the planning and the quest phase uh, for your beginner mode game. So hopefully you can tune in then. Many, many thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little notification bell.